What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. And today let's talk about some changes I would like to see come to the game kind of to help for quality of life and just in general fixes I think a lot of people would enjoy no matter what platform you play on. Of course some of the things I'm going to talk about is going to be kind of tied specifically to console. But the other things I'm going to discuss are going to be kind of things that you could use universally for all platforms. The reason I got this idea of course yesterday I was watching Jay Hart Ellis on Twitch, which was one of my favorite Twitch streamers. Him and Nephis both are two of my favorite people to watch on Twitch. So if you neither have you if you have never seen either one of these guys on Twitch, I'm gonna link their information down in the description of their Twitch channel. Give them both a watch. I promise you won't be disappointed. But uh, yesterday, Jay Hart was talking about things that he would like to see kind of come to the game with Update 27. Of course, we're gonna get info about Quarter Three and Update 27 later today. But that got me to thinking about things that I would like to see change in game. Of course, he plays on PC. I play on PS4. So we might have different ideas of what we would like to see kind of updated in game. But I think in general, it's always a great idea to give your ideas to the development team, whether it be on the forums, whether it be on Twitter. As long as you're giving kind of, you know, not being negative and you're giving positive feedback, they read a lot of that stuff. So I'm going to kind of give some ideas that I would like to see come to the game. And hopefully some of the stuff will be things you guys would like to see as well. So leave some comments down in the description for ideas that you guys have that I may not mention. The first thing is going to be storage. I think we need a storage update in general across the board for housing, for players, for bank, uh, whatever the case may be. You can upgrade your player storage to a certain point. You can uh, upgrade your bank storage to a certain point. Then after that, if you want more bank storage, you're going to have to have ESL plus. And I understand not everyone can afford ESO Plus month in and month out. That is perfectly understandable. That is perfectly fine. And I, I just feel that there's been so much stuff added to the game since the game first released that we need more storage. Uh, I, I know they've added a couple pets in. It's giving you a little bit more storage space from the Crown Store. That's a great idea, in my opinion. I think those were two great additions. Uh, the the little the, the mouse pet and, of course, the boar. So you got 10 extra slots for each character. That was a really good addition. But I just feel like if you're a player that's new and you want to get into crafting, you only have a character or two, there is so much material, so many uh, items that have been added into the game. It's hard to hold all this stuff on your character, hold all this stuff in a bank space. You have to make more characters just to pretty much be mules to carry all of your stuff around. So I feel like that storage could use an update. It doesn't have to be tons of spaces or extra space, but just something in general to add extra in-game. Even if it was things you had to buy with gold, I think people would really like that. When I mentioned housing, I think housing could use an update in general. Tons of people love housing. I love housing. Uh, I love doing things with houses in game. I think there's a lot of things that could be added to housing. But another thing I think could be added to housing is storage for furniture items. I own tons of homes in game. Some of mine aren't even decorated because they're pretty much showrooms for furniture because I've built so much stuff. I had to have somewhere to store it. So I had to, you know, store it in some of the other smaller homes that I own. So I think a, a, addition of, of being able to add things to store housing furniture and just like I said some updates to housing in general I think housing is a very popular thing in game I think it would be even more popular if it was a little more accessible for you know just kind of in general what you get when you purchase a home I think there's a lot of ideas that kind of revolve around housing that could be added in the next thing I want to talk about is kind of some just general health fixes uh, general quality of life fixes each year. Of course, every year we get a lot of content. And that's a great thing for the game. Content is great. I do feel we get so much content that some of the older zones, some of the older dungeons, some of the older trials kind of get overlooked by new players and veteran players alike. But I do feel if we kind of compacted some of the DLC we get every year and then added in some general health fixes, some general quality of life fixes in those places that it would be a big improvement to the game because like I said right now we're getting a, a dungeon deal we're getting two dungeon DLCs a big chapter DLC and a story DLC every year if you compile those dungeon DLCs into a group where you get all the dungeon DLCs at one time all four of them or if you added them to maybe the big chapter DLC so you get the chapter and the dungeons and the other times throughout the year they could just do general fixes for the game because I know when you add new things into a game I'm sure development teams have a lot of headaches because it adds new problems sometimes. Sometimes you might add something in or fix something and it brings another issue kind of to the top and or to the surface. So I think if we had kind of quality of life, uh, you know, health fixes for the game, this health quality in general, 
uh, year in and year out. I think it would make the gameplay experience a lot better for everyone on all platforms. The next thing I want to talk about is going to be specifically tied to console, and that is some updates to our UI, to our HUD. Uh, one thing that is awful on console is the buff debuff bar. Some of our abilities don't even have timers. I'm hoping one day they can look at PC and see some of these add-ons that PC players use and take these most popular add-ons they use and somehow implement them into a settings option on console. They have added things over the years that have definitely improved quality of life, but I still think they need to be looked at. And one thing is that buff debuff bar, because like I said, it is a lot of clutter on screen and some of our abilities still don't even show timers on them. So that is kind of annoying. Uh, the other thing that, or the last thing I guess I really want to talk about is kind of changing up the way the older items in game kind of work. And I'm going to give you two examples. And that's going to be transmute crystal, uh, tra transmute crystals. I'll get it out in a minute, excuse me. And um, rip vouchers. If you have played for a long time, you're like myself. You have tons of transmute crystals piled up on characters. You have tons of rip vouchers. And you really have nothing to spend them on. I think they need to look at the game in general and add some new ways to use some of this old stuff in game because people are still out getting keys for dungeons. People are still getting out and getting transmute crystals or getting rip vouchers. But if you own all the monster helmets and shoulders that you need, uh, you own the right things anyway with the right roles. You own, you know, you, you've rolled everything that you need. You really don't need transmute crystals anymore. If you uh, have bought everything from the, uh, the rip voucher vendors, you have all the items that you need. I wish they would implement ways to use some of the stuff that's been around in the game for a while and find a, a, a way that you could spend it on different items in game, maybe newer things, housing things, whatever the case may be. I think just in general, they could take a lot of the older stuff and kind of rework it, kind of like they did with the update not long ago where they you know, kind of co compacted the game file size down so it was smaller. And they said the reason they were able to do that was because they could get rid of some of the older files that were in game that were not needed anymore. So hopefully they can take that idea and look at some of the stuff that's in game that's been around for a while that people may not have as much use for anymore and find a new way to implement that into the game overall. Of course, guys, like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner on the YouTube page here. That way, you know when all my videos go live. Of course, if you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs, desks, all kind of stuff for all your gaming needs. And all their information is linked down in the description. I'll catch you next time. Peace.